crossing some T's, dotting a few I's, getting everything set up. Twitch, you wanna you wanna make me live here? I'm gonna assume uh, Twitch died in a fire. Probably caused by YouTube in an attempt to steal their viewers. Oh, there we go. I am live. And speaking of being alive, this boss fight kicked my ass, as rightly it should have last time. We're gonna try it again. Uh, I have hope and prayer on my side. And boy, not a whole lot else. Is there anything I can do to prepare? Not really. My stats are kind of... Kind of as is that they are, right? Well, yeah, that was a sentence. Is Jira okay? Oh boy, 7-9, you missed it. You remember the Ginyu Force? Zabu, we destroyed you. I am a machine. My body simply needed repairs. Funny you should say yes. A certain someone remembers them too. But to answer your question, Jiro is okay. Excellency only allows those who serve a useful purpose to live. The useless shall die. Sazbo, as you can see, has replaced his dick with a battleship. But more importantly, the Ginyu Force is back, and I have to fight them all at the same time. This is his last stand. I, it didn't go so well last time. I got pretty far. Turbulent Mai. Oh, all of them. All of them. I have to fight all of them at the same time. Not just Turbulent Mai. I have to fight fucking... Gunman... Kebab... Knife throwing... That's Turbulent Mai's knife throwing Steve over there. <coughs> Sword Hand McGillicuddy and Tom Bombadil over here. You paralyzed Jiro. Great. And you're killing Jiro. That seems mean. What a start to this fight. What did Jiro ever do to you, poor guys? Okay. I'm guessing the element is wind. Or fire. One or the other. Probably fire. I like how they got two hits off before this even really kicked off. Yeah, we're in great shape, huh, guys? Uh, can I cure the paralysis? Uh, cure stink, panic, stun. That's not quite paralysis, is it? That's poison. Jiro here. I can't have Jiro heal. He's paralyzed and his turn isn't coming around. I think I've already lost this because they paralyzed him on the first turn. Frankly, to the point where I might as well just be like, you know what? I think, uh, think we're going to reset that fight and hope we get a better first turn roll. That's what I'm thinking is going to happen. Because obviously if that's their, you know... That's their open the door and say, hey, how you doing to the boss fight. That's how they began. I'm not starting with a paralyzed healer. We're all crippled. We got all but one toe in the grave. Jiro's the only one who can pull us back out. And they hit him with a sledgehammer so he's paralyzed for life from the neck down. It's just not a thing that I can tolerate. I'll give this fight another fair shake. I lost barely last time. I'm willing to try this again without resorting to grinding. I need Jiro to not be in the vegetable section of the hospital if I'm going to do that, though. Anyone else? Maru? Mainly him. M might I recommend Maru uh, be who you paralyze? He's an excellent choice to paralyze. I would paralyze Maru if I could. Grinding. Yeah, no, we don't want that, do we? 
that would be gross. This is a timed dungeon, by the way. You can see behind my notification feed. There is a timer here. This is still disc two. Gotta dodge between them. One thing I like about this part is that the collar something, 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 something. I'm trying to dodge enemies and run ahead while also reading chat. One thing I like about this part is the collar is an accessory Kluke is forced to be equipped with. Oh, is it? Really? I didn't notice. I'll be damned. Look at that. Huh. Yeah. That is a nice little touch. That's super cool. I have no idea how far away disc 3 is at this point, but we are still in disc 2. All right, let's cut the chit-chat, Sazbo. We all know why we're here. Don't paralyze Jiro on turn one, is all I'm asking. I'll take poison, you know what? It's suboptimal, but I'll take poison. At least he gets turns now, and I can cure that with an item. I was really worried there when he, like, immediately targeted Jiro with his stupid fucking special knife. Oh god, it's also really bad that, like, they get a lot of turns before I can go. Kluke's immediately dead, huh? You love, you love to see it. <sighs> okay. Give me that Phoenix Talon, I guess, to revive that bitch. Cowboy formation. I mean, clearly it's working for him. Uh, something of this will cure poison, right? Antidote. That checks out. Alright, I think I have a light crystal, yeah. Pop that. Jiro, you're using... Zephyr. Alright. That should stabilize us enough to mount an offensive. Okay, I'll take that. We want Flores. And we gotta take Raging Kesu out first. He's a bastard, man. Ah, with his fucking special knife. Can you stop targeting Kluke? I need her. Alright, that's... I don't like the crits. And now he's paralyzed, of course. Oh, and my gets him. That... Okay, well... Huh, none of them are dead. Would have thought that wiped somebody out. They really, really hate Zola. I don't know what Zola did to them. But they really hate her. They also hate giving me a fucking turn! Holy goddamn! They took like 800 turns there before I got to go. Yep, there it is. Alright, so... We're gonna go grind for a bit. I'm sorry, I forgot to leave the game properly. We're gonna go grind for a bit. Shout out to... Saving before this. Thank you for that warning. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Very unfortunately, we can't grind with Kluke since Kluke's not in the party at the moment. How was this close the other time? I got lucky, I guess. Less crits, I imagine. I can give it one more fair shake, you know, third time's the charm, maybe. After that, I'm loading up old profile one and we're going to go grind for a bit. There's profile one from before this nonsense. Here's the current profile I'm running around in. Save file two is an earlier part of this same dungeon, so... Given this dungeon's on a timer and I can't leave it, it would be silly to load that save profile up. So was it before? I think the first... The, yeah, I beat the land shark uh, last session, but uh, it would be a little pointless to load that profile up. So, listen, I just want the item. I kind of need this Phoenix Talon. Didn't, didn't want to fight you, actually. 
probably just gonna turn around and go heal at the end of this. Battle music didn't change at all, which is a bit weird. Eh, I probably won't bother with the healing, honestly. It was only Zola, and I can slip her some medicine. Thirteen less medals. Yeah, well, I'll probably earn him back, all things considered. I just don't want to get in a fight on the way to the boss fight. I kind of need, you know, everything I got going into it. It is brutally unfair. I will say that. It is brutally unfair. Like, if you don't know that's coming, that's gotta just... I think, uh... Yeah, I think someone was saying last stream, that's a... This this boss fight's a real, uh... Real run killer, if uh, you don't know it's coming. Or even if you do know it's coming, it can just end a run. And it's like, you know what? I believe you. I fully believe that. That seems entirely believable. I think it was Verselogic who was mentioning that. Alright. Right, skip this with the start button. Not, not mashing these buttons. Mash the start button to skip. Alright, so one more good old college try and then I'm off to the grind factory. They're doing something different. Yeah, they didn't start with old special knife. Which I appreciate. Now I don't have, you know, a horrible status effect on me going into this. Like, yeah. It's really annoying that freaking Cowboy Man, or... Nah, that's Knife Man, sorry. He's up before Jiro, who would have the party heal. But hey, you know, I can throw a light crystal on people. In fact, I can do that several times. I have a few of those. The idea being, oh god, keep us alive. Throw some mega medicine. Yeah, and Kluke. <sighs> and... Floris on... Grand Raging, fuck you over there. Okay, I can live with that. We're just gonna... Because I can cure Paralysis, but we're gonna Zephyr. That should be a decent heal. Alright, the thing is, once I get one of them, I think I have a shot. It's getting one of them. And it seems like they go down in two Flaruses. So as long as I can get back to Kluke, we'll be fine. Okay, well, gee. Alright, no status effect. You'll love to see it. Don't hold back. Of course she won't. That hit everyone in the row. And then he just shot Zola in the face a bunch of times. And another special knife. Alright, alright. Not the paralysis. Spiral, what's up? In a while. Ah, oh boy. Really need these guys dead. This is a fucking brutal boss fight. What to do here? I mean, as long as I can survive a hit from Knives and the Gillicuddy, he's probably going down here. I could always try the yeah, Phoenix Talon bring Shu back just as, like, a potential other target to hit. He's got plenty of health. He can usually tank a hit. Case in point! He's been silenced, so he can't cast spells, but I think we can live with that. I need, uh... I need everyone to heal before I revive, uh... Maru there. Phoenix Talon Shu. Yeah, like I said, he can, he can tank a hit. Maru's less good at that. And there he goes. Okay, see, alright. Now, 
Special knife is gone. We're okay. It's gonna be okay. He can throw items. Uh, what do we have? Probably... This is a boss fight, so I'm gonna assume they're immune to this bullshit. Raises HP over time during the battle. That could be good to use on Kluke, since she's the weakest at the moment. Slightly increases movement speed. Ooh, that could be good as well. Boost Kluke's turn order. Why, was just the emergency food supply. Seems that way, yes. I'm still standing! I need fucking this guy or Mai to go down. God, and I need to cast Revive now. Jiro is up after Turbulent Mai. I really don't want my... If I heal, that puts me on the But if I spell, I really don't want my having a turn in general. Or should I take care of Heatwave's Psy here? Uh, I could target him, but he's actually kind of second afterthought at this point. I think this guy's the bigger threat. And that's not fully charged. I'm hoping for at least a thousand. I'll take it. Thousand two. She's alive. That's good. That's good. Jiro, uh... Unfortunately, we need another... Zephyr. Before we can start reviving our chums here. God, I wish I had more... Really, really wish I had more reviving things. That said, I should probably actually take a Mega Medicine. Sai so has that global attack. Yeah, he has that one that attacks everyone in a row. And he likes throwing bombs. Zola's defenses are... They are holding! They are holding! Not by much, but by god, they are holding. Oh hey, he didn't shoot Zola. Amazing. Just kill this guy, please. Fuck me! Come on! Oh, I didn't charge it enough. That's him, Zola. Yep. Uh, and of course we move forward. I need a revive. <sighs> Shoe, I guess. I'm just gonna fully charge it. Hopefully that gets everyone. Yep! Ooh, Kluke with one health and a dream. Shoe with 131 and a dream. Just. Yeah, okay. Let's see how good this revive is. Is it just him, or was it a big enough AoE that I can... That's just all his health back. Great! Okay, so who's ready for some grinding? I hope it's you guys, because that's what's happening. Christ, what a boss fight. With enough luck, I can probably do that currently, but... God almighty. It's not pretty. Ugh, and the worst thing is that fucking Kluke, who's dealing the majority of damage, I can't grind with because she's not in this part of the game. I have to grind with these four lunatics. I mean, I'm not happy about it, but you've seen what happens when I'm trying to grind, when I'm trying to fight this without grinding. Where is she? Yeah, you missed a lot, 7-9. She got kidnapped by Nene, and he slapped like an explosive color. Bear magic's immunity, spell makes this fight much easier. Well, that's all... that's great and everything. I don't have that. I should heal up at the inn. Looking at my stats. That's the accessory shop. Silly me. Yeah, no, it's great. It's great and all that barrier magic makes this easier. I don't have that. Item shop. Fuck you. Where's the inn?
I suppose more reviving items would be nice. Buy Phoenix Talons. Yeah. Now that you mention it. That could be really nice. Uh, I'm gonna have to fight the Land Shark again, though, is the problem. Which, I mean, I beat him the first time, so I guess after grinding he should be real easy, right? Just use Water Spell to cool him down. Make him weaker. Playable. Oh boy. Everyone settle in. I'm gonna uh, struggle to open this stiff drink here. Ah, damn it. Why, why is this stiff drink so stiff and hard to open? There we go. Gotta give it a little bit of the old elbow grease. There it is. <laughs> Puts hair on the chest. Make, makes the grind a little less painful, you know? Numbs the whole, uh... Numbs the pain as well as the brain. Just use ice. There isn't ice magic in this game. There's water magic, but there's no ice. Phoenix Talons. Give me, like, just, just ten. I got 13k, I think I can blow a thousand on it. Ah. Yeah, no ice magic, no lightning either. It's water, fire, earth, darkness, and light, I think. Might be forgetting one, but I think those are the big ones. And... Which way is the plot? It's a big tree. Near the town, kind of? I ran back to the town by accident. Just get a sixth party member with ice magic. First of all, at this point, it would be a fifth party member, because I don't have one of my members. More to the point, we just established ice magic doesn't exist in this game. How in the hell would I get a party member that I can't even have, who also would have to have magic that isn't in this game? Huh, that bonus EXP device actually would have been real nice for this, now that I think about it. From that one dragon. The frog dragon, I think? I was gonna say, if they all do that fucking dance, we're gonna be here for an hour. Obviously, I should kill big stuff, right, for, like, grinding. I shouldn't just target any old tiny little ghost assassin cat that I see. How much experience did that give me? I mean, he got a level up. He gave 300 until next level. It's, like, a couple thousand. Oof. Alright. Grampy the Mammoth. Hey, you look big. I was gonna say, there's a Grampy the Mammoth looking motherfucker around here somewhere that probably drops a lot of experience. How much does the one-eyed ghost friend drop? Jiro is always putting in great work with his 29 damage. EX split is like 300 over 4. I think everyone got 300. I don't think you get 300 and it's split four ways. That was only 100. That's not worth it. Alright. So they're not worth fighting. The little shadow cats are. Like you, at the very least. Maybe they are so far. Where is... Grampy the Mammoth. Not you. I know I know what I'm looking for. Looking for the big fish. Yeah, he's like over here, I think. Not you. 
explode them all. Hey, Dark Flame, what's up? We're grinding out levels in Blue Dragon because there's a boss fight that, if I got lucky, I could probably beat, but by god is it, like, a lot of luck and currently kicking my ass. My first try was the luckiest, and it ended in failure. But I stole some Ultra Medicine, so that's nice. And hey, these guys killed themselves, so, you know, not too much of a hassle to deal with. I have that vanishing dance that I'm sure does something, but I'll be damned if I can prove it. Of course you're grinding. I mean, the boss fight's challenging. I don't really have a choice. Even 7-9, who hates the grind, is like, yeah, I mean, it's... Given the boss fight, that's just not an option. Not grinding is not an option. Where the hell is he? There's a big old mammoth dude around here. Probably gives me a ton of XP. That's two revolves for me. Isn't grinding, like, twecking? Sure. I'm sure whatever twecking is, it's exactly like grinding. There it is. He moved. Yeah, I hit him and then he moved so he could get pre preemptive strike on me. Anyway, it's Grampy the Mammoth, everyone. Say hi to Grampy. Hello, Grampy. So how much XP do you give? Probably more than six. Thank you, Jiro, for your contribution. He has a crap ton of health. I'll give him that. Jesus! <sighs> Wake up, Morrow, we need you. being this tough. There we go. That better be worth a lot of experience. I'm hoping like 500. Alright, we're going back to killing the cats. Fucking really? 100 for that? <laughs> What'd you miss? Uh, I gave up and we're grinding. That's what you missed. I gave that boss fight the fairest shake I could and it was just not having it. Weirdly, the most worth it to grind are these guys. They drop like 300 experience as opposed to everyone else who drops like 1 or 200. Because it appears to be based on enemy number rather than individual strength. Which seems like a weird thing to do, in my opinion, but you know, there it is. So. Now she's stunned. That's a shame. Boss fight, you mean mustache Robocop dude? Yeah, I know that. You, you've got the, uh, got the gist of it there. Guy who replaced his dick with a battleship and all of the bullets are other boss fights. That guy just shot Jiro. I like that it's a ghost kitty that's an assassin, and his whole thing is, I've got a shotgun. Having a shotgun does not an assassin make. So now you grind. That's the idea. I'm gonna try and get everyone to, I think, 30? 
Because then I have to fight the land shark boss anyway, so I'll get some experience from that. So if I'm level 30 going into it, that's, I think, a good spot to be. Since looking at the save file I was loading up, everyone was kind of like in the 29 area. A couple of them had made it to 30 by that point, but uh, no one really in a meaningful capacity. Like, I think maybe Jiro had hit level 30, but that was it. Maybe Zola. And hey, you know, if I get back attacks like that, it's a pretty quick fight for, you know, 300. Zola was clutching it up. No, her defense was great. Alright, rank. I want levels at 30s, by the way, not ranks. Ranks would be nice, too. It seems like, you know, we might get there. I don't know how much SP we get per fight. Oh, four. It says it right there. But, uh... Yeah, no, we're all about the, uh... Let's take barrier for the hell of it. All about getting that level 30, not rank 30, for the record. Detected. Go for that chest since it's there anyway. The f I tried. Hey, a shotgun floating in the air. Who could it be? It's Magic Cat! Uh, you do have that warp to the Kellyan Swarm, too. Uh. I mean, I guess. I need to see how much they, uh. How much each one of those fights gives, really. Because, I mean, that's a quick way to grind. They all go down fairly easily. But... If they only give, like, ten experience per fight, it's not really worth it, even with, you know, higher time. Or faster time, rather. That's just a number. I have no idea how much experience per fight they give. Jiro can claim he's done something there. Did he get one? How much health do these things have? Apparently enough. Huh. Yeah, nearly 400 experience. Uh... Two more fights for Shu to level up, four more for Kluke, and unfortunately the big one. I think that's probably six fights for Maru to level up, assuming I get cats every time. That's not too terrible. Hey, look, a cat. Again, that's not even counting what we'll get uh, with the land shark. So, hopefully, with everyone at level thirty, that'll uh, and whatever we get from the land shark, that'll uh, improve our uh, standing in the fight. appreciate that I can steal on a counter as well. That's very nice. That's the best they can do, isn't it? I did tell you to grind last time, but you were all like, ah, oh, levels are good and whatnot. I mean... Again, with some luck, I probably could beat that fight at my current level. I would just, you know, I'd rather grind out a few fights and then give it a crack than just keep resetting and hoping for luck. Even if I end up relying on a bit of luck to succeed in the fight ultimately, I feel like I'm going to be better off if I'm a little bit stronger. But hey, you can't say I didn't try, and that's the important thing. How much do you give, Blue Grunt? Hopefully there's a lot of you. Oh, two assassin cats and three grunts. Get him, Ark! Yes, he showed me. Mm -hmm. 
Why are they facing the wrong way? Because I struck him from behind, so I get a free attack. Someone's a tough bugger, aren't you? Mr. Blue Grunts. Actually, they're pretty tough. Have a lot of health and do solid damage. I'm hoping for at least 300 experience. Come on, Blue Grunts. Why are you posing? Maru's the... Never mind. Sure. Five thirty-eight. That's pretty good. All right, more blue grunts. That would hurry this process up. Not you. You're garbage. That said, I do want to pop into the inn and heal quickly. I'd rather spend like twenty bucks to heal than you know have Jiro casting spells to do it. I also was able to buy some items that revive people, which is really smart. So I'm proud of uh, proud of myself for being like, hey, I'll take the initiative. That way if somebody goes down, I'm not stuck relying on Jiro to revive them. I can have anyone revive them. Jiro does a better revive with more health, but, you know. Hell, if I can get Jiro to use the item, he can pop two in one turn. Playable. Which would also be pretty cool. I wonder, there's an item uh, that lets me do two attacks in a turn. Like, you attack and then you attack again. Does that apply to casting spells, or is that just physical attacks? Because if it applies to spells, I could probably have Kluk take down one of the fucking Ginyu Force pretty easily. With just, like, doubling up on a spell. I'm looking for blue grunts. Or assassin cats. Important thing is not those guys. Those guys suck. No one up here. You'll do. to spells. Spells are essentially a form of attack. And do these sassing cats give good experience? Um, they give the, what appears to be, second best uh, of the stuff I can fight in the area. The best are the uh, blue alligator dudes. Who give, like, over 500 each. These guys give just under 400. No one else is worth it. I'm getting lag because I'm downloading something. Okay, well, you... Mm, you almost got away from me. I mean, that's a shame there, Dark Flame. What you downloading? I'm hoping it's unholy amounts of porn. I'm talking zettabytes. If you tell me anything less than, say, the entire history slash library of Pornhub that's ever existed, I'm going to be disappointed in you, Dark Flame. So don't let me down. Jiro just apparently has an insta-kill ability that randomly pops when he melees. That's pretty cool. I won't lie. That's pretty cool Jiro. You downloading if it's not a secret, and is it a game, perhaps? Like I said, I'm hoping it's porn. Just unholy amounts. Alright, we need one more for Zola and 
two more for Maru, and then everyone's level 30. So that's not too bad. Let me just kick this fucking thing over. I don't have to cross it right away, but, you know. I say kick it over. Moon laser it over, thanks to the help of an old man. Always appreciate it there, old man. Hey, what the? Uh, sure, that, that, yeah, all right, that happened. <clears throat> no one can say it didn't happen. Grando Espada, 3 MMO. Ah. Are we talking like free Guild Wars 2 free or free uh, Genshin Impact free, where it's not really free? Okay. Even with, uh, sure. Even with, uh, one more fight, Mara's gonna take. Excuse me, Mara's gonna take two. Unless I find one of those. Hey, this guy! Somehow I got a back attack on that. go. Alright. That should be the final level for Maru. Really? 19? Alright. Boy, those assassin cats are the source of EXP. Not sure which type of free, but the gameplay seems interesting. Oh? How so? Another cat. Yeah, just one more here. Heard about the Granado Espada, isn't that like an MMO where you control a party of several characters as opposed to just one? Oh. That's how. Interesting. You get that insta-kill? Okay, well, critical, I guess, works. Really? There we go. Okay. Doesn't Genshin do that? No idea. I haven't played Genshin. I'm told it's like Breath of the Wild. Class unlocked. Uh, pfft, barrier, sure. All right, we're all level thirty. Let's be on our way. I forgot about those guys. I probably could have tried fighting them for some quicker experience. Or those guys, really. Just, you know, walk across the bridge, you stupid idiot. Had completely slipped my mind that there were more people on the other side. Maybe it does. Never played or checked it out all that much. Yeah. I've heard Genshin Impact is Breath of the Wild, but for weebs and simps, so that's about it. Anything beyond that, I don't actually know. What's the difference? Nobody knows. Anyway, cutscenes, very tragic, giant robot. We got Kluke back, but she has an explosive collar on her. Nene with his fucking dollar store glasses he got to help him read Time Life magazine is there chuckling at us. I succeeded the two-button QTE sequence. It's one character at a time. You get multiple characters to simp over. That's, I mean... Sure? That's called a harem at that point, isn't it? Next stream, perhaps you can tell me uh, how you like Granada Espada after you've played it for a while. 
What is all this plot I'm missing? Eh. Basically, we got Kluke back. She has an explosive collar on her. We have an hour to get it off. Which we do by going inside Nene's big old fucking robot. If you want to catch up on it, watch the VOD that'll be up after this stream right here. Welcome back, Kluke. In Grandpa. Yep, that's what its name is now. You play as multiple characters at one time. Good old Grandpa. Overwrite this save. Since that's where I currently am. Hey, look, everyone's level 30 except Kluke, who I couldn't, you know, grind with anyway. So, harem simping. I mean... Yeah? Uh, no, nah, I don't bother. Whatever the item is, I'm sure I don't need it. Kind of want this, though, since it's, you know, in the way, along the way. Ooh, a phoenix wing. Definitely want that. Ah, damn it. Couldn't sneak past you. And they got the preemptive strike. That's not too bad. In terms of damage done. See ya. <laughs> Ow. At the very least, this guy, who might be at least a somewhat required fight. Whoa! Snuck past him. I was gonna say, I beat him. Ow. 50 damage, huh? Thanks. I beat him and was able to beat the land shark, no problem, so. Uh, but hey, you know. That was in a pre level 30 world. Playable. It's land shark time, baby. Which is actually a sky robot, so, you know. Bit of a misnomer, that name. Big secret to this guy use the water. Use water. 7-9 likes this boss fight, because you have to use your own water. Plot is, you're missing is that Kluke was kidnapped, and now she's back, but with a bomb collar, so now these dorks have to get to the top of the giant mech to get Nene, who can remove the collar. He is taunting us with it, too, though. He's like, mm, if you want that collar off, come get me, super dorks. That's really the... An interesting way of going about it, but, you know, there it is. Uh... Do I have one of those? Swap HP and MP, increases movement. Provide information about foes during battle. Sure. It's a bit soon for Jiro to be doing much of anything. I forgot you used two items. Uh, vitality. Yeah, the vitality could be good. Steals item when you attack. Raise max MP value during battle. Yeah... I don't think I have one of those. Slightly reduces physical damage. That could be good. Uh, slightly increases movement speed. Let's see how quick you are with that on you. Land Shark looks smaller than I remember. No, we're bigger, you see. I didn't even read what it said. Uh, generates heat and sometimes overheats. Ah! So it is possible to overheat the thing. I was curious about that. Since it seemed like, you know, the hotter it ran, the more damage it did to us, though, was the problem. It's because they don't have an extra layer of stuff on them. If I would make it loose turns eventually, but you gotta spam it with, like, everyone, so yeah, water's better for your team setup. Yeah, the thing... Jesus, Kluke. Uh... The thing of it was... I tried fire to see if it would overheat it. He just kind of got stronger and killed us all. Sharks cooling down. Good old magic sword. And get that boy colder and colder. You, on the other hand, definitely want to take this here ultra medicine and give it to Kluke. 
Well, that was just me. Yeah, use one of the fucking Phoenix things. I have a wing, and I got ten talents. I can spare one. So I know. Mainly, I want her alive so that Jiro can group heal everyone. Just checking. Everyone nice and topped off. Kluk doing a crap ton of damage. Thus, the lasers are slightly less damning. Like they, you know, kill me outright. God damn it, Jiro. How are you always after the fucking shark when I need you to heal people? You are the freaking worst. I should speed him up with the machine part. That's gonna be Maru's next step in evolution here. Oh good, he's transforming. That's what she's good at, dishing out a lot of damage. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. I think the fight reset, uh... Who was doing what at this point? The fuck second health bar? Not really, it's just kind of a second form. That said, uh... Probably just want to throw a light crystal on us. Yeah, heal up. And then you specifically can Mega Medicine Clue. Oh good, he hit Jiro. There we go. So far I like, uh, Granddad's music. That's good. Music's important. Stop hitting Kluke. Oh, her formation's wrong, isn't it? She's in the front. That might be part of the reason she's taking so much damage. I got her back. No, she's in the back. I was going to say I got her back, but I didn't change her formation. Curious. General medicine against Kluke there. Heat laser, go! I think we can tank this. Yeah, everyone tanked it just fine. Just fine. Definitely don't look at Kluke's health. She's going way after that. Uh, Zephyr... Yep. Enough charge to heal everyone. And then, of course, she took damage. This shark really doesn't like Kluke for whatever reason. Got the taste of her parents and decided, hey, I want in on that. Want to make sure I remove that bloodline entirely. Jesus Christ. Ooh, that might be, yep. Bad for her. <sighs> really hope I wouldn't have to use this many Phoenix Talons in the first fight, but hey, you know. I bought ten for a reason, right? That said, the sooner you die, the better. There's a health station waiting for me up ahead. I'd very much like to use it. Main shark's heating up. You've, of course, been silenced because there is no god.
Can you be quite finished? Thank you. Sick of that guy's shit. Checked out the game a while back in terms of uh, what I wanted to play at some point. We couldn't decide if I should or not. Eventually, I didn't. Based on your eventual review of it, maybe I'll change my mind. Yeah. Quick magic charge. What does that do? That might be worth looking at, actually. So... Skills... Jiro... What is quick magic charge? Cut charge time by 50%. That could be very good. That makes him move faster, and given I want him to, you know, be healing here. Generate HP when walking. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do quick magic charge, just so he can cast spells faster. I'm hoping it doesn't just ruin the, like, throw off the timing of the charge meter, and just, like, makes him... It's the same speed of the meter, but... It now, within principle of the game, he casts it sooner than he normally would. But anyway... Right, we're back to where we were, with actually a minute extra, I'm pretty sure. I was at 45, I'm pretty sure, uh... Last time, and now I'm at 46. Yes, dear God, save my progress. Overwrite this one. Hey, look at us all. Now level 30, except for Kluke. Alright, let's give it a let's give it a try. Once again, run this gauntlet. Don't get attacked by anyone. That would be nice. Grab this item, because I'm pretty sure it's a Phoenix item. It certainly is. You'll love to see it. Ignore that guy, because he can't do anything about me. Ignore the security system, because he won't do anything about me. Snakes are a little bit, yeah, harder to juke. The horned viper tridents. It doesn't help that I ran directly into him. I'll be the first to admit that. Of course, Paralyze. Well, listen, it's been fun, but I've got to split. It's Splitsville, guys. Gotta be on my way. Counter's great and all, but I need to be going. Discharge is spooky and dangerous, but I'm just here to flee. Tell my iframes I said thank you. Alright. Let's do a quick group heal before the fight and uh, say all of our prayers. Hey, what gods do you guys believe in? Because I hope you ask them to watch over me for this next bit here. Okay. Time to go. Somehow it's now raining and flooded? Weren't we in the desert like a minute? Okay, sure. You know what? Let's do this. RN Jesus. It's a good god to be praying to for this bit. At least we have the excellent music to accompany us. Terrible start. But at least, you know... What did it say? Poisoned, I think? Hey, you know what? Shu can take it. Shu's got health for days. You know, you can wail on Shu for a while. It's not too big of a deal. Can't say I'm a fan of that. Sometimes they get, like, free attacks in. Other times, it just they start with this bullshit. Eh, Shu's still kicking in there. He doesn't have much, but he's kicking in there. Alright, uh... Ugh. So what I want to do is... Why is she so goddamn nice, is the question. <sighs> so if I use the support item to increase old Kluke's movement speed... Will you please go... She did move up! Now she's only two behind as opposed to three behind. You can go ahead and use... 
Uh, an antidote on Shu. You can go ahead and use a... There's a light crystal. There it is. This is just to keep everyone alive. And you can use another light crystal, followed by, gosh if you can believe it, another light crystal. Don't believe in God's course, I believe in God is death, but that one doesn't count for your purposes. Don't pray to death to help me out here. I don't need death. Jesus. Yeah, pick on Maru. He's he's fine to be picked on. No one, no one minds Maru getting picked on. Ooh, shoo. Solid counter, I appreciate it, Lou. They're really just beating the hell out of Maru. I mean, he's annoying, but what'd he ever do to you? Well, he's dead. She's not looking great. Somehow it's his turn, even though Zola was up next, but he paralyzed her, so she's just lost her turn. Guys, whoops, the game crashed. Darn, now I gotta try again. What a weird series of events that was. My favorite is when it's like, oh, it's Cowboy Robot's turn. Up next is Zola. But then Knives McKenzie over here does his special knife and just jumps the line. I don't know why that is, but whatever it is that's doing that is not good for my liver. <laughs> or my sanity. Oh, <laughs> that is uh, 100 proof. Wow, 50%. All right. Did, didn't know that when I was drinking it straight from the bottle. I'll be perfectly honest. Death doesn't count for you in this purposes, and in general, I don't pray to death. Yeah, I wouldn't count death as a god. Death is like a thing that exists. And while I would say that is the main difference between it and a god, it's also not a holy thing. It's a, just a very... You can point to death and be like, that's what death is doing. That's what it's caused. That's where it came from. It's a special knife. It's in the name. Ah, of course. Silly me. The knife's so special it lets him jump the turn order. That is a very special knife, to be fair. I wish I had a knife that special. I tried with my engine part, but it's not really working for me. Is there anything I can do that would, like, boost Kluke's agility without sacrificing too much? Uh, I mean, Jiro's ring is garbage, so no. Her agility's pretty awful. I will give her the shield earrings. That might help a bit, actually. So that's nice. An extra 5 agility and magic defense. Or at the cost of 40 physical defense? I don't know if that's a good trade. I never said I thought of death as a deity. I said it's the closest thing to a deity I believe in is death. There's a difference. I mean, it's true, but... I wouldn't even say closest thing I believe in to a deity is death. I would just be like, nah, I don't believe in deities. I wouldn't even... I would not consider death close to deity is my point. Like, if I had to describe the closest thing I believe to a god, money, maybe? But, you know, death would not be on my short list, is all I'm saying. I wasn't arguing with you, I was simply saying I never would have, I personally never would have thought of death as even remotely close to god, period. All right. Here we go again. Kluke's a little bit better. I gave her a slightly better necklace. Nope. <laughs> not even. Absolutely not. I'm not playing this with Kluke silenced. Ah, I'm glad you think that's fair, Arg. I'm going to assume you're referring to my immediate crashing of the game. That's just... 
There's two things I'm not abiding by on turn one. Silencing Kluke and paralyzing Jiro. If those happen, not happening. Just no. Do I have anything that cures silence before I, you know, throw a bitch fit every time it happens? Because Lord knows now that the game sees it, it's going to keep happening. R and Jesus is a real dick today, I can't help but notice. Alright. I don't think I can... Can Jiro cure silence? He can cure paralysis. He can't kill si cure silence. Uh... I have a cure-all. Mental Surge, Princess Kiss, Steadiness Salve, Deodorant, Antidote. Yeah, I have a cure-all. I guess I could use that if he tries it again. Oh, and I gotta equip her with the better earrings. That too. Uh, and in Hades' uh, area, that gives me the most trouble is Labyrinth. Labyrinth is the one after uh, Minotaur and Theseus, right? I want to say. That one didn't give me that much trouble. I feel like if I can beat Minotaur and Theseus, I'm well enough equipped to deal with Labyrinth that it's not an issue. Because Minotaur and Theseus are just such a fucking brutal boss fight, in my opinion. The biggest crock of ass in that game is, um... The... If you meet the Minotaur early, you fight him and, like, do damage to him. So he's already wounded going into the boss fight. But he's, like, lost a sixteenth of his health. And it's not even worth it, given how difficult of a fight it is in the beginning. It's like, if he started with half health, that would be worth tracking him down to, you know, injure him prior to the fight. He's only lost, like, you know, one, one 128th, if I'm being real generous with my math, of his overall health bar. So it's just absolutely not worth fighting him before you get to that boss fight. It's, I don't even know why it's a mechanic. Uh, right. Everyone snack on this light crystal. Alright, we're all at max health. Let's get on the platform. Don't fucking silence Kluke or paralyze Jiro, please. I can fix it with a cure-all, but I'd still rather you just didn't do that. Just... On principle. Go ahead and, like, you know... Poison Maru or something. Better yet, just don't have a status effect. Don't have it go off. Okay, that's... I'll live with that. Huh. Hold your horses. Is Cure All Remedy for all ills, or does it just heal all party members? It's it's like a full heal in Pokemon. It just kill, cures all ails on a single person. Labyrinth is after Elysium. Minotaur and Purge Theus aren't that tough a boss fight, as you say. Not for me. Eh, for me, they're really hard. I suppose everyone has a different preferred style, though, eh? So... What are you gonna do? Alright, so Maru and Zola are up first. Followed by Knives McKenzie and Cowboy Magoo. <sighs> if I speed up Kluke, she might go ahead of uh, Mira over there. Do I do that or do I pop light crystals to tank whatever it is they're going to be doing. Oh, God. Um, or hell, do I drop a... Uh, they all are immune to Earth. Do I drop this Flawless Ruby? That that never does. It says large. It's only like a couple hundred. I really need, like, solid damage. It's a remedy for all ills, but only one person. Yeah. That's how that works. I could also just cure his poison. Uh, I think I'm gonna heal two light crystals here. Alright. 
Uh, flashbang revised. He erased. What does erase do? I assume that erases stat buffs? I think you have a surname or username for Granado, Espada. Anyone got any good ideas? Uh, Grandpa Espresso. Oh, you said good ideas. Sorry, no idea. How about twitch.tv slash token I like I like the sound of that name. Logic, what's up? Uh, we've made uh, no progress. So, hey, you've missed nothing. She's paralyzed now, too. Alright, she's getting a cure-all next... Uh, Next opportunity I get, since I've got one. Uh, do I shut him down first? The status effects are annoying, but Bombardier over there might be worth shutting down first. Has start your dungeon over? Oh yeah, no, I definitely grinded and started it over. I leveled everyone up to 30, except for Kluke, obviously. Really meant to have that pop sooner. Alright, she's alive. That's good. He's alive, too. You know what? That's fine. Alright, silenced him I can handle. Hell, if damaged him I can handle. You, you do the counter, you. You've earned it. Uh, it's knives after that. Yeah, use your cure-all on poor Zola there. Poison and paralysis is rough. As I'm sure you'll find out soon here. Uh... Meditation, probably, yeah. Uh... Back we doing this first try? Sure. Hard fight, if you had to guess. You're watching it! I imagine you can tell this is a hard fight. It does not take somebody who's an expert at the game to realize fighting four of former boss characters at the same time, albeit with probably reduced health, is definitely difficult. Yeah, that's that's that and his bombs are what I want shut down. So, Polaris, I can. Oh, I meant. Ooh, I thought it would charge faster. Yep, that didn't do a thing. Turbulent Kai reverse formation in this fight, or is that the first one? That's just the first one, it seems. And nothing of value is that lost, I imagine. I can probably just, like, Flaris sword you and be done with it, honestly. Yeah, okay. Definitely take, uh... Oh, fuck, I forgot he did that. I forgot he did that. Ooh! Definitely taking him down next. Okay, he fucked up. None of us are... Okay. <laughs> nice one-two combo. I love it. Uh, I was thinking something like Swiss Shadow. Uh, that's not bad. Uh, oh. I suppose the class is important. Imagine the comedic time if they're first to the formation just then. I prefer not to, 7-9. I was a good shield and an important uh, member for the important members. It's true. I think I'm probably going to bring him back at this point. Uh, since I can do that. And hey, he's not poisoned anymore, right? She is. I can live with that. I can have somebody else come along and heal that. Switch Shadow seems to be a good name for uh, Grano Espada. Yeah, no, it's a good last name. 
it's definitely, it sounds very, like, roguish, or perhaps uh, an archer of some sort. That's over a thousand. Uh, you can just apply antidote to Kluke. Kluk always been that squishy. Yeah, I mean, she got kidnapped for a period there, so it's kind of not great at the moment. How we doing? Not terrible. Uh, uh, probably want to just throw an antidote on Shu. He could have healed himself, but he, he does enough solid damage. Ooh, that's not good. Him silenced is bad. Him silenced is very bad. I need things to cure silence. That's absolutely next time I'm in a shop. Uh, I can cure anything except fucking silence. It's so annoying. Uh, fortunately, he can use two items at once, so... Oh, to hell with it. Throw... Throw a thorn branch at him. Just use a cure-all. I already burned that for curing Zola's poison and paralysis at the same time. Don't forget to prep for the fight immediately after no heals in between. Yeah, I know. I, I'm, I'm familiar. I made it that far my first time. Shockingly, I got to Sherlock Homie. Before he fucking wrecked my shit with his battlefield penis. As one does with a battlefield penis. Paralyzed again, great. Good thing Jiro can cure para- uh Uh, ch -ch -ch. Yeah, I guess just... Hit Grand Turbulent Mai there. Just looked it up, what'd you look up there? Shoe's fucking 16. Is he? Shoe's quite young. He takes gunshot wounds to the face better than any 16-year-old I've ever seen take gunshot wounds to the face. Ah, I should... Oh, God, he's Jiro's so far away. Uh, that said, I still want to probably... I have light crystals, so... I don't have to do for now. Should have done that with you, honestly. Don't know what I was thinking. Just hit Turbulent Mai, I suppose. Steal something from her. Nope. Alright. Yep, that sounds about right. I thought he was younger. Oh. Oh, in the anime he's 10. Got it. Let's save Turbulent Mai for last. I remember them being my favorite. I can't. Gunman's in the back, and uh, he can't be hit by physical that way. Don't know about the other good usernames, but if all this pans out, Dark Flame's always an option. I mean, where ever did you think of that one? Hit me with a Phoenix Talon on Zola. And I guess a Mega Medicine on Maru, since we're here anyway. Probably should have Mega Medicine on Zola, now that I think about it. Oh well, live and learn, right? Alright, just him left. You know, if you could reset my silence, that would be great. I'm not I'm not asking for a lot, but just when old battleship dick shows up, I would appreciate a reset on Jiro's silence. That would be muy bueno. Uh probably just take a mega medicine. There's Ola. Silent clue, yep. Silent clue's boring. You need to write everything down when you accuse people. No fun. He gets an attack every turn. Oh, yeah, I stole medicine. Nice. Just actually, yeah, we're gonna meditate. Yeah, 
you're going to use Ultra Medicine on... Why did I do that? He's meditating. You're going to use Mega Medicine on Zola and... Spells Magical Effects. I'd love to use that on myself. Do you think that's an option? I'm going to use that on Kluke. I'll hopefully carry over. Yeah, max level is... Uh... If you want to plan ahead for classes, usually max 2 by the end of the game is level 50. Well, everyone's at level 30 now, so that's not too far away. Yeah, 99, but max level skills stop at 50. Ah, that's worth knowing, actually. That might affect uh, some decision-making. Really hope that would kill you. Oh, he's in gunman mode. Nobody hit him while he's in gunman mode. He's all, like, you know, willing to counter and whip out those guns. So instead, um... Just defend, I guess? Probably could have used, you know, an MP restorative, actually. 100 MP to clue. You can go ahead and just heal yourself. You can go ahead and continue hoping and praying that silence goes away for your next, uh... Oh, he's still in gunman mode, actually, which... Yeah, if I wait enough, I guess I can just... outweigh him on that one. Oh. Now he's in gunman mode. That's gonna hurt. Unless it kills him. Unless it kills him. Alright. As I planned. There's diminishing returns. There usually is. <sighs> New round. Who dis? Oh hey, cured Jiro's silence. How dare you do that to my subordinates? I'll smash those cannons. Yeah, Jiro's not silent anymore. You'll love to see it. Alright, one of these cannons, I think Cannon 4 is healed by uh, water, which is worth remembering since I can, uh, like, deal solid damage against them otherwise. Since they're in a row. Doesn't work for Cannon 4, but works for all the other cannons. Physical... wait, what? Uh, yeah, just physical and magical. Uh, what do you do? I have no idea. Age class is different stats. Uh, right, you want to use Watera. Oh, that hits all the cannons. I guess it doesn't matter if it heals one of them, as long as it does damage to three of them, because I can just focus the other cannon at that point. So level 99, only physical attack maxes out for Monk, I mean. I mean, I imagine that's true for a lot of classes. Level 99 maxes something out. Somebody said, um, Jiro's max, uh, I think max support, or like max, I think it was max support gets double caster, which is really good. I say this with, like, no authority, mind you. Uh, I guess I have a free turn at this point. Is there an item I can use to just defend everybody? Like, increase everyone's physical defense? Because that would be goddamn rad. Oh, I have, um... Restores MP over time. Yeah, throw that on Kluke, actually. Like, during the course of the battle. Yeah, it healed one of the cannons, but, you know. All the others at least took a beating. And I can... Actually, one of the cannons is completely gone. Use Mow Down to bust some other ones. And then hopefully that breaks the cannons. That seemed like it was bad. Actually, my health isn't that bad, and only cannon three is left. Okay, you know what? We might be good. 
Ancient Fossil boosts defense. Oh! What the fuck, Kluke heal? Kluke? Kluke can't heal. Oh! Oh, you're asking why Kluke heal? Yeah, well, I mean, just that one cannon is strong against or heals from water? I don't know. Doesn't make any sense to me. Meant to cast a spell there. You got me all confused, 7-9. God damn it. Ah, that was Magister, if I'm not mistaken. He said at some point, your support class unlocks double spell casting. I think all supports get that. You destroyed the cannons, Ness... Ne bleh, Master Nestor. Master Nene gave me! You scum! Say your prayers. I think I'm in good position. I think I'll be fine. Now, what is he weak to? I'm gonna assume Floris. Let's see how he does. Clue did 20 damage. Her physical attack is nothing anyone's writing home about, alright? I didn't do that much. <sighs> Sport Magic 35 is double caster. Yeah, okay. Ooh! That was a spicy crit at the end there. Good thing I've got this Ultra Medicine. That was only row one. That was fine. Alright. Yeah, I don't even know if it's worth using. Yeah, it's not worth using Flower Sword at that point. Easy fight. Is it 7-9? Is it? At level 35? That's way closer than level 50. I was thinking of. Nice. Yeah! That might be worth investing in. Double caster is pretty sweet. I already have double item. Double caster would be broken, I think. Barry Magic's the only class with level 50 skill. The rest drop off earlier. Yeah, all, all I think it was uh, Magister said. Might have been Logic. I can't remember who said it. But somebody was mentioning that it was their last ability in support. Class were in their final skill mid to early 30. Yeah, okay. That, that was an important detail. I was assuming it was level 100. So I was like, mm, that's not something I want to sink my time into. Anyway... Laris. Alright. Boy, once you take the cannons down, I think this fight's pretty much won at this point. I, let me knock on wood there. Unless, like, a goddamn Electro Caterpillar splooges out from his face and strangles us all to death, I think we're probably fine. Zola Neri Max. Uh, I don't think she's 35, is she? All their levels are 50. I don't think their jobs are 30s. Except maybe Jiro's. I think Jiro or Shu has a pretty high job level. There's one exception Barrier learns. Okay. That's fine. I'm definitely gonna probably... Definitely probably. Uh, I will most likely put Jiro into support after this. Even though it does sort of... Uh, wreck his current stats. It's just not something I wanted to do before a boss fight, you know? Especially not this boss fight. I feel like this boss fight I want to be min-maxing, you know? One more time. I mean, that wasn't that bad, actually, so... Yeah, no, we're all, <laughs> we're all fine. No one's even below half after that. <laughs> So, uh, that, that, was, that was your big maneuver, huh? You were going to win the day with that one. Double spell cast at 35, that's worth investing in. Absolutely. Bring back Turbulent Mai. Please don't, actually. Don't listen to 7-9. Never bring them back ever again. Never want to see those guys. When you're starting mid-second disc, multi-classing is required. First disc, you can get away with anything. Fair enough. I did have the guy who recommended this game to me, one of my mods who isn't around at the moment, because uh, he's a coward, I guess. Um, he was telling me that he never bothered, like, really messing with the classes in Disc 1. He just kind of left everyone as is. So Shu's the swordsman, Zola's the assassin, Maru's the monk. I, uh, I changed it up because it was fun. I like doing that in games. Why be predictable? It kind of it kind of worked with Jiro and Kluk though. They just sort of naturally fell into that. <gasps> there it is, Maru with the kill. You never see it ever, but there it is, Maru with the kill. Sasbo best character, not anymore, he isn't. Sasbo's dead. Yeah, shoes skill 
He, he just hit 31 and got a new skill. Jiro's 30, Kluke's 28, Maru's 28, Zola's 24. Yeah. Absolute counterattack. I like the sound of that. Let's see it. Before I spec uh, Shu into something else. A nice little parrot gremlin. Jesus. I leveled up once, buddy. It's really just Flores and Zephyr. Wow. He got sniped. Damn, he got fucking wrecked. That is a charred husk left behind. Who? No more health bars, certainly not. Absolute counterattacks the highest monk skill. Ah! Time. Probably keep that around then, as also like monk's physique or something. What was Zabo trying to tell us? He said Meme was seeking something. Make him a sword fighter. That tell us anything. Since Mo Down and Magic Sword are pretty good, all things considered. Uh, sh skills first, not shadow. Skills. Uh, absolute counterattack. Always counterattack a direct attack. That's pretty damn good. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty damn good. So, expanded the range of attacks. That's pretty good, but I don't... It really seems to work with charged attack, and I don't think I'll bring either of those when I change. Meditation I might keep. I probably want to keep Battle Essence on. Since that, yeah, boot, keeps my attack really fucking high. Define Absolute Counterattack. Well, there you go. Both Guardian and Assassin blend well with Monk. Oh, Guardian. I guess I haven't really looked into Guardian. Uh... He does have it. Ooh, he takes a big hit on a lot of things, though. Mainly his attack, but I can... Uh, I can make up for that. So, that... Eh. Is it worth doing now, or should I wait a bit? Because I don't want to do this right before a boss fight. I want to do this when I've got some, you know, mobs and adds I can knock about for the experience. Right before a boss fight, I'd prefer to keep my min-maxing around, you know? Yeah, wait. <laughs> figured. I <laughs> figured as much. <laughs> figured I wasn't quite out of the woods yet. I got 30 minutes left before this bomb goes off. 32 minutes and 58 seconds. Let's get ourselves a well-earned full heal. Very polite of Nene to put these in his giant robot he's making us walk through. And then we can save. Wait a bit. Duh, there's a boss battle or two in the immediate vicinity. Again, you know, I was just, just making sure. Alright. Everyone being significantly improved. You know, honestly though, I, I would have liked it if that was the last of it that I needed to do. I was like, hey, yeah, you beat Sazbo and the fucking Ginyu Force again. Here's the end of the dungeon. That would have been nice. It would have been real nice. But of course, such things are not for me. Monk uh, with Battle Essence is fine to keep that. Yeah, no, I'm probably going to throw Battle Essence onto whatever I swap over to. Since I'm looking at Guardian, his attack turns to absolute garbage compared to Monk. I think 35. Yeah, all right. Magic sword. You're red, so are you weak to fire or are you weak to water? I don't remember. Hard to say based on that. Thanks! He just fucking did that on his own. There was no, no prompting there. Hey, petrify him. Nah, okay. So is he close to the end of disc 2 then? That would be nice if I was. Every disc just ends with Sazbo. Ooh, he's resistant to magic. That's not good. 
Why did I give him time to charge? Guess I'm using water. Oh, good. Oh, he has flame counter now, too. Great. This, too, is the shortest. That's probably because it has, like, the most stuff in it. Like, it's the shortest plot-wise, but it's got the most, like, of the world you can go and visit, or that is optional that you can go and do. I say that again with no proof, but that's my theory. Or maybe they did it like uh, they did Mass Effect on the Xbox, where the beginning and end are on disc one, so that both dicks, dicks, both discs have data for every character, and they don't need to, uh, ow. Alright, you, you both need to, you both need to fuck off. Shoot me like that. Where do you get off? Phoenix Wing, you'll love to see it. Alright, and to the door. This is... now we're in space. The big robot. Yeah, there's, there's Earth over there. It's probably just a simulation, but, you know, I... Go with it, it's funnier that way. Hoping this is the final floor. Hate this chamber. Oh, good! Uh, heal up first. Well, I got a checkpoint, we'll see. We got moon lasers. Super fun. The moon is Achievement possible. I'm not going for achievements. I'm on my alt account. Normally I'd be all about achievements, but... Okay, I can only control one of the moons. Nene controls all of the others. There's a reason I'm on my alt account. Go over tutorial. Please do! Using the D-pad or the left stick, move the laser sights to attack an enemy moon. Okay... Press an old DA button to charge up the laser and release to fire. The more you charge, the stronger your attack will be. Be careful, if you move the sights, the charge laser will be reset. Use the B button to recover your health. This will reduce your magic meter. Enemy moons will also use charge attacks. You can only inflict damage on a moon while it is charging its laser. When an enemy moon takes damage, it will spin around and hide its laser batteries. While it's spun around, it cannot be damaged. Sometimes an enemy moon will overload and turn red. Overloaded moons spin faster and charge more quickly. Your mission is accomplished by destroying all the enemy moons. Good luck, you'll need it. Thanks. Why Why could you possibly hate this? You know, I'm not gonna lie. As much fun as this game is, I'm not terribly impressed with the minigames. Okay, that's how I do it. It's a lot of damage. I was still, like, fucking figuring shit out. Agree with zero for that one. Them juking me out. I never thought I'd be juked out by the moon, but here we are. God damn it, getting juked out again. Okay. Incoming from behind. Damn it. Uh, Mini games are ass, except like one. The, uh... Oh, shit. They distracted me. The, um... The airplane one with Nene over the ocean wasn't terrible. This wasn't anything good or special. God damn it. Kluke died again. Kluke's always the first one to die.
Oh, good. And then Zola's defeated. Pretty sexist of the game, if you ask me. It's 2021. We don't need them dying quickly. How is Maru tanking it better than Zola? That's just completely unrealistic. Jesus. How long does the fucking overcharge last? referring to actually it comes back that's oh okay mostly optional content fair enough hey two of us lived i got a b which stands for boy you better try harder in the future well that was annoying but you know what it was easier than sazbo and the ginyu force so i'll take it god nearly two hours already Curse you, Sazbo, and your Ginyu Force. Also did, like, had no actual damage to me. But, you know what, I'll heal anyway. I still have 30 minutes on this fourth floor. I think I'm fine to overwrite that one. I'm not, I'm not keen on getting the achievements in this game. I looked at the completion list and was like, fuck that. Speaking of awful completion lists, really just Resident Evil 8's mercenary mode. I hate it and I still haven't beaten it. Achieve is no damage, yeah. I saw a lot of shit like that looking at the uh, achievement guide for this. Do the minigame with no damage, or complete the quick time event without letting any of the robots through, or something like that. It's like, this seems awful. Not sure I have time to be wasting with these guys. Or, you know, SP or MP, rather, to be wasting with these guys. Oh, there it is. That said, there is a, uh, there's a full walkthrough for this game on how to do it. In one playthrough, even, so... If you really have a couple hundred hours to devote to this game, you can do it. It's just difficult. Ooh. Stumped on Mercenaries Mode in RE8? You're procrastinating with that one. I try it once a day. It's just, it's so awful. I hate it. Mercenaries sucks. It's not fun. I can't flee? That's annoying. But yeah, it's not fun. It's challenging. I just really have no interest in doing it. Those are the main things. It's not fun and I have no interest. Thought you need two playthroughs to get a special achievement. Uh, I might be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure it is a one playthrough completion on true achievements. Maybe they might be referring to like some save scumming in that department, because they will do that. They'll be like, if you save here and do all this stuff, you can get an achievement, then load a previous file back up. These guys are specifically designed to make me run into them, and I'm sick of it. I can check uh, true achievements right now, since, you know, it's not like I'm on a bomb clock or anything. But the game sure does like making me wait here, so... Blue... Dragon. Blue Dragon... Walkthrough... Yeah, no, one playthrough required. 24 out of 43 achievements can be missed. Uh, estimated time, 60 to 100 hours. That seems legit. Yeah, okay. Like I said, usually it involves... Uh, if there's one where people are like, I swear it's more than one playthrough. Fuck. 
Ah, oh, I was busy closing the walkthrough, and then I got distracted. I meant to run past with my brief iframes. But yeah, no, they, they count save scumming as uh, allowing you to only do one playthrough on it. Boy, that doesn't seem friendly, that thing coming right at me. To do ten... Jesus, would you? Please! I'm going to heal when I get to the door. All you're doing is just wasting our time. Yeah, I'm not fighting this. It's annoying that you get two moves in a row. Summon all your fucking children. I suggest condoms that don't, you know, break when you put them on in the future. And then, you know, slap me. And then you get a third one before I can do anything, where you just, you know, ram yourself into Zola. Bye. I'm not, I'm not acknowledging this fight. I hate you. I hate you with every fiber of my being. I'm going to use every character I can to leave this awful fight. I hope you choke and die. Alright, let's heal up. Okay, maybe we can't. That's an issue. They have let me do that every time prior, but, you know, I guess not this time. Well, I'm gonna spend early rounds of fight healing, maybe. Who knows? Seems like it. Long time no see, buddy. This robot again? We'll bust him up in no time. Did you see that? What? There's a leader. It appears to be controlling all of the other ones. And the one with the red eyes? We have to take out the leader. Good to know. Which one is the leader? I imagine it's the one with red eyes. The problem is I can't see the red eyes. Great shot of his junk, though. Appreciate that. <laughs> okay. I was gonna say, real cool of you to just attack me like that. I looked at the turn order. I was up first. Thank you very much. Alright, what the hell do we do about this guy? I can only attack one spot, so... Naturally, let's, uh... Erase Sword. Adds a race. Huh, neat. Let's Flaris Sword, this son of a bitch. See how much that does. Not bad. Not bad. I don't think that was even stronger than, like, Shazbot downstairs. Eh, a little bit stronger, maybe. Hard to say. We were already a bit damaged coming in here. Point is, Floris. I care with me mentioning skills you haven't seen, hadn't asked, figured I should before I keep rambling. Uh, I don't mind it, per se. Well, that's interesting. There's tons of them! Their leader must be in there somewhere. Who cares? Just smack them all down. Okay, uh... Well, bad time to be Jiro's turn, but let's Zephyr everybody up. As far as you go, uh... I mean... One of the few times it seems like we could use... Grand... Ooh, I have a Flawless Amethyst. Uh, it's fine as long as you don't spoil the actual plot of the game. Yeah, no, no, no. Don't spoil the plot, but, you know. If you're like, aw, oh, fucking generalist gets a great skill at level 20 or whatever. I don't care. Didn't... Didn't realize they would all be countering. Welp, Zola's dead. Woo, baby! I'll make my argument for Guardian with two skills. Ah, that was that was embarrassing. I'm embarrassed. 
That said, I do not know how I am supposed to deal with all of these. Hopefully just kill them all. That's my plan. Phoenix, Talon, Zola. Protect allies from all attacks. That's pretty good. Increase strength of your attack command as your HP decreases. Is that a passive? Or is that something you have to activate? Because that's important. Just keep hitting them with ground up. Both are. Ooh! That is very good, then. I approve. Oh, they can cancel. Shit. You hate to see that. Just hit one guy, then. It didn't defeat him. That's crazy. Cancelled your ground as well. I missed that. Ooh. All right, Grounda. Don't think they're a single bad class, though. Hmm. All right, well, it'd be nice if I could identify the leader. Are any of them different? They're all war mecha robos. Wait, one has a different icon. Namely... I can't target the one that has a different icon? Or is that the big guy behind them? Like, right after Jiro there. General Sobley has shit stats, but skills. Yeah. Uh, that might be the big guy behind him. I don't know who's the leader, per se, based on this. They all look the same to me. And yes, that might be racist, but it's true. The thing is, if I send ground at them and they counter me, I'm just going to die, I imagine, right? Unless I actually... Jesus! I mean, it does so much damage, but they won't die! And now they're just gonna kill Kluke, but at the same time... What's with their health? Alright, so this is not the way to fight these guys. This actually sucks dick. This is worse than, uh... Sazbo and the Ginyus. Here's 9,000 people. They can all counter you. They have 10 billion HP. Only one of them is the right one you need to attack, but they're indistinguishable. Or maybe they are distinguishable and I can't fucking see it. How do you talk down to Sazbo? I was just saying this is worse than Sazbo in terms of difficulty. What different icon seems to be the big guy? Yeah, I think so as well. I learned nothing. One of them might be the real one. Hell if I know. Cool. I have any more light crystals. Yeah, I didn't think so. I guess keep Jiro alive. Ground, see if something takes different damage. They all took, like, 300 damage. Besides ground something, every one of them gets a counterattack. I don't want to do that. That's eight counterattacks for free coming my way. That's just basically sacrifice somebody at that point. This whole time I thought these were 12-year-old kids going through actual trauma. I mean... No, they're 16-year-old kids, Zola and Maru, going through actual trauma. True, yeah. Uh, Zephyr. That'll keep us alive. Let's 
So I should call out whatever leader there is. The problem is the fucking counter that they all do. They're all war mecha robos. I don't even know if they keep the same attack as the problem, or same health. Near as I can tell, they all have the same style of chassis. Yeah. All their faces appear to be the same. I have no way of telling who would be the leader here. From this distance, it's gotta be based on damage, but I don't want 9,000 counterattacks coming my way is the problem. Frankly, I'm also going to point out, if the way you do it is just damage them and see which one takes different amounts of damage, that's an awful way of doing that, because that still means you get eight counterattacks coming your way. Uh, but whatever. Fully charged and break all of them. You can uh, defend, I guess. You have a uh, small amount of earth damage. Oh, I want you to do it to, yeah, all enemies. Uh, since this seems to be the way it's done. They all took between like 95 and 100 damage. I don't know what the fuck I'm looking for. They killed my friend, I can tell you that much. Uh, do I have Belt of the Hermes? Fuck no. I don't know what that is. I'm also definitely not Googling it. Okay, okay. Uh, War Mecha Robos. Blue Dragon. War Mecha Robo. Leader. Thunder? Thunder's not uh, magic. You can't cast that. I have no idea why you would think that, but... Or why that would help in any capacity. But I can't even cast Thunder. No, the boss, not just random Mecha Robos. Mecha Robot... Boss? Boss. I don't want video guides, please. I personally use water. I mean, I'll give it a shot. Black magic. Uh, water. That at least, yeah, that would minimize it, I guess. Let's see the front row. See if that fucking triggers any weird damage. Water can one-shot. Well, it broke one of them. Cool counter, though. See you on the other side there, Shu. Jiro will be there to revive you and Zola. Glad I have Phoenix Talons for this. And fucking double item casting. This boss fight, I'm not gonna lie. This is a bad boss fight. The one with, um... Sazbo and uh, the Ginyu Force. Tough, but not bad. This is just bad. This is poorly designed. Is it the guy who's still standing after all of that malarkey? You were kidding about that water one-shotting them, were you? Huh. I'll be damned. Should have started with that. All right. Never mind. Boss fight's perfectly balanced. I take it all back. Solid game. 10 out of 10. Let's get the hell out of here.
I think they put too many bosses in this game. Uh, should have just kept the good ones. Well, again, when it's a game this size, spanning three discs, not everything's going to be good. Don't need 30 per disc. Yeah, that said, lots of boss fights is a hallmark slash staple, whatever you want to call it, of JRPGs in general. So, having a lot of them is no stranger, obviously. I don't think they should have put quite so many back-to-back -back at this point, however. It reminds me a lot of the, um, if anyone's ever played the Final Fantasy III remake on the Nintendo DS. It reminds me a lot of that game's ending, where it's like four boss fights in a row followed by the final boss, and it's just no healing or saving in between. It's insultingly arduous and terrible. Should you make your game request now or later? Um, I don't know if you were there for it, Dark Flame, but I decided the way I'm doing game request, but that's final boss type stuff. You're not wrong. The way I'm doing game requests from now on is you can... It's probably better to submit them sooner rather than later, because I'm going to put them all on a giant spinning wheel, and then when I beat a game on stream, I'll, like, enter them all into the wheel. And I have a site where I can just, like, spin the wheel, and whatever comes up, that's what I'm playing next. Request or game I personally want to play, that's just... It's what's up next. It's all determined by the wheel now. Most likely now before he chooses a new one with Wheel of Fortune thing. Given it's pretty easy for people who watch me consistently to request a game for me to play, slash, I'm trying to find a way to balance that with games I actually want to play. Like, I never would have picked Blue Dragon personally. I played this on a request. But, like, I, there are games I personally want to play. I'm a variety streamer. Um, so in order to balance that, I'm putting it up to RNG. I think that's the top floor. Good. I've only got, like, 20 minutes left on this collar. Is Nene there? Maybe. Saga Frontier Remastered. What the hell is Saga Frontier Maybe. Remastered? Can't can't do that now. I'm in the middle of a thing. If it's another massive JRPG, don't want to pick anything you vibe against. Don't pick RTSs then. Yes, that's, that's really the only thing I don't vibe with. So you came. I don't mind you a big long RPG then. every now and then, but we I don't want to no play too many of them in a row. You. I like some variety in my life. But Yasato, you mean you're on his side now? Let's do it. We can't. Just kill him. How come There's Zola's no the only one who's, like, an Well, she is an adult. Alright, dumb this, question. Sato. I apologize to you. My master was very angry that I had allowed you all to escape. Master Nene has modified my system to prevent that from happening again. If you want to save Lady Kluke, it's necessary to destroy me first. Okay. I, I don't mind. I met you, you an hour ago, Sato? and I'm kind of we bitter at this point that. based on all the boss fights, so... Please, destroy me. I suppose I could try fleeing at this point. He literally has, like, a broom. He has a vacuum. Check this machine out. It's some kind of sweeper. I could try fleeing. I'm curious to see what happens if I just try fleeing. It'll probably be like, nah, son, not good enough. Or nice try, that's not how this works. Uh, Saga Frontier Remastered. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta look into that. Nope, not how it works. Okay. I think he can never actually tried. I gave it a shot. Didn't work. Oh, you're buffing people? Fuck you. You're all gonna die. Get me my big spells. My big AoEs. Kluke, prepare the earth spells. And you, prepare the, uh... Yeah, prepare the flawless ruby. Do it. Wish that would have done more. Really wish it would have just, you know, killed them all. Yasato, what the heck's he doing? Looks like he's resisting that sweeper. Okay. Not entirely sure how this boss fight is going to go down mechanic-wise. Um... Uh, yeah, let's destroy the back row. I don't like them existing. And you know what? While I'm at it, let's destroy the back row some more. No Earth. Oh, five of them fly. I suppose they do. That's true. 
smooth brain. Uh, yeah, I guess water makes more sense. Fine. If you want me to be sensible about it. Yeah, I want to take out the back row since they're buffing everyone. I meant to charge that, but that's the smooth brain coming in. Actually, it killed them all. My brain's so smooth, it knew that would happen. Smooth like water, it just went right over it. Hydrodynamics in action. You saw it all happen. Ah, you're pulling them forward to change the formation. Got it. I see how that works now. Uh, yeah, mow down. This isn't that... Other than that vacuum, this isn't that bad. Two of them panicked. I don't know what panic does, I'll be perfectly honest. The suck attack! Yeah, the space balls. He's using... He's changing from suck to blow. Alright, I think that was unnecessary. Now's our chance to attack the sweeper. I'd love to. If, you know... Uh, really want to, like... What cures... There it is, panic. Oh, on everyone. Cool. Do that. So that you can, uh... Zephyr, everyone. There we go. Panic equals random attacks. Oh! Attack yourself, they come to their senses. Or, I can use that item. Yeah, the controller. Polite of them not to call it a sucker. Just saying. That worked! We can attack the sweeper without hitting anyone else. Uh... Let's have Yazato resist so we can smash the sweeper to bits. Yeah, sure. We won't hit anyone else. Pressing Y will target allies slash heal enemies. Oh, I didn't know that. Ah, he calls allies. I see now. That's how this works. Okay. I'm just going to give it the full charge. And, um... Yeah, you just... I don't want to deal, honestly, with, um, Servant Mecha A back there, so just Flores him. Get him out of here. Something takes damage from heals. Yeah, is that, is that like the Final Fantasy thing where, like, zombies and undead will take damage from healing? Because, I mean, it makes sense, but, you know, undead, yeah, figured. I kind of have Shine for that, though, so I don't know if I need healing. Let's have you auto resist so we can smash the sweeper to bits. Sorry about that. I kind of hit all of you there. Ahem. <clears throat> uh. Ch -ch -ch -ch. I mean, I'd like to put that guy down or petrify him if I can. Cannot. Okay. Uh, you do just enough damage that's worth attacking the sweeper there. You're gonna want to mow down. Mostly because I'm trying to... There we go. Hey, I knocked it away. You alive, or... Fight done? I win? Are you alright? Alright. Are you hurt? I am alright. I am so sorry. Don't be, you were holding an evil vacuum cleaner. It was reverse Luigi's Mansion up in here. I understand. You should leave. Right away. Who did Maru's voice, I wonder? Everyone, please, hurry. And I wonder if they've been in anything else. And I wonder if their balls ever drop. Jesus, how are you still kicking? You're dedicated, I'll give you- This is a slow elevator. You! Stop leaving! At important moments! Why is it whenever he shows up, you Just go off and do your own thing? You did it last time, too. Take care of and the others. You know, you're actually quite useful. I don't... Okay, well. There's one fight where I use healing the enemy, you know, boss mechanic things. Oh. Got off to Nene before the bomb went off. Huh. Or got to Nene before bomb went off. I like Zola. Yeah, she's great. Really solid defense, really solid attack. Moves fairly consistently. It's a shame she keeps excusing herself before we confront Nene. 
I wonder if there's a reason for that. As a caterpillar yeah, becomes a butterfly, you too have passed through many trials in your growth. Listen, I got like five minutes if you could unhook the collar. You call that a trial? I mean, it is. Our life Strictly. Our struggles are just a game for your enjoyment? I mean, you want no good matter of perspective, good. honestly, but... No, don't! Be very funny if it did all this and just, like, anticlimactically popped off. Nope, she's a spider robot now. Of course. Oh shit, uh, pull down, press X rapidly? No warning about that! My hands were nowhere to be seen on this controller, I'll have you know. Uh. Oh shit, now it's B! Okay. Could, could've given me some warning, game. 2006, when QTEs were in every game for some reason, including JRPGs? I guess Microsoft published this one, so kinda... They were big on those, I guess. We didn't know better, it was 2006. I would date Zola. Bitch, Zola's married to her job, and, I mean, she fucking married herself to that game. In a real baller move, by the way. Full points for style on that. Just a little more. But yeah, no. I'm sure you would date Zola. I don't think Zola would date you. No offense to you, but you're not this cool, savvy king of an entire, you know, country. Now to become royalty. Great, now we're all spider robots. I've had this dream. It doesn't end well. Except once, but, you know, there's not enough lube in this scene for it to end well like it did that one time. I mean, what? what the heck is this, These collars were never meant to explode. Son of a bitch! You're capturing us was your plan all along. You have all been superb. Your persistence, your bravery, are all followers of all. With which to nourish my soul. Spider Robot versus Ventral Grandpa Smurf. Purple Ventral Grandpa Smurf. What? I'd watch it. We got that. The relentless illness is of age, my body. Do you understand, my friend? You don't want to get old? Others That's... enjoy the strength and violence of youth, while That's... I alone suffer the degradation. I think you alone is probably an exaggeration. Why has that fate befallen me? It falls everyone. Why must no one else know the fear I? People get old. It, it's happened. Just put your brain in a robot. You've got like 90,000 of them. No one would care if you just put your brain in the robot. You named him Death Roy? I'm better Death Roy. It's a stupid name. friend who knows the ancient secrets I know. Had you not survived... I would have got insane from loneliness. All right, we kill him. Time to regain power, my vessels. My vessels! Yeah, he always contributes so much to the conversation. That death roy. Maru's voiced by Nika Futterman, who's done a lot. Futterman rings a bell. Couldn't tell you where, but uh, I'm gonna bet she's. Good. That was a bit horrific. I bet she's made a career based on doing voices like Mars, though. Are we actually dead and we just play the rest of the game as Zola and Jabral? Because that would be awesome. 10 out of 10 game at that point. I suppose I'd miss Jiro a little bit. What, are you going to eat all of them? So... Your plan was to send those guys out into the world to beef them up and then steal them for yourself? 
Because I feel like there's better ways you could have gone about this. Also, robot. Could have just done the whole robot play. That's not a blue dragon, that's a purple dragon. You can't fool me. I may be colorblind, but I'm not stupid. Wow, he really did pull a piccolo, huh? Akira Toriyama. Three ideas in his hat. They all work. They're all good ideas. But there's only three. He even looks like Barunga, the fucking dragon from uh, Nemec. And now there's a robot that was unseen until now. And it's... Why did you design it that way? I can't take that seriously. <sighs> so if you don't understand this, light orbs were his soul. Oh! You leveling them was you leveling his shadow. Yeah, I kind of got that. I still don't see why he couldn't just put his consciousness in a robot. That's why I baited him to fight. He's the one who gave the magic to harvest their power for himself. Yes! If you've ever seen the Aqua Teen Hunger Force movie, it's like the bit at the end where, uh... Dr. Weird, or whatever his name is, uh... Gave somebody the Muscle Master, uh... Flex 9000 so he could steal their muscles and wear them like a suit to fight Frylock right at the very end there. That, it's a deep cut. If you've never seen the Aqua Teen Hunger Force movie, you have no idea what I'm talking about. And if you have, you're probably like, why of all things did he reference that? Now that here the timer is actually an illusion, nothing happening except a pretty good cutscene at Pit Zero. Oh. I guess that explains why there's a cool uh, achievement for getting there. Meanwhile, shout out to... Uh... I also like how he got all like big and powerful and then just put himself in a robot. Press button rapidly to withstand the stomp attack! Why'd you make yourself youthful and more powerful if you were just going to be in a fucking robot for this? What fucking sense does that make? Uh... Can't move while being stomped on. Um... So I should flee then? Is that what I'm seeing? Ow. Yep. Figured as much. Unless I've got a sweet item hiding somewhere. Okay. I could defend. I think I, I think flee is the choice here. I will return. Shoot, couldn't flee to that. I mean, I tried. I gave it a shot. Someone saved us. I'm gonna assume Zola or the king. He a shadow. That's a weird the way of saying that. Power was absorbed back into my spirit. You didn't get all of them, bitch. Zola ran away. Save. Oh, hey, disc three. What do you know? Yeah, I'll overwrite that. Yep, Zola's gone. God damn it. Yes, I think I'll insert disc three. All right, I'm done. Uh, so, you're still hanging out there, cool shadow of mine, that I haven't named, but I assume is named Blue? It's the first combat where he can flee. You know what? I noticed that. When I was trying to run away uh, from fights while I was on the clock, I noticed he couldn't flee. Now he can all of the time. Alright, I've gotten so strong I've learned how to be a coward. Nice. Meanwhile, in a dumpster... Oh. Well. I hate when that happens. I mean, I figured this was some sort of bad dream. I have to imagine. 
Like, why would we have been teleported away just into the basement for him to step on us? What a waste of everybody's time. That is... Gibral? Hard to say. I think that's Gibral. But yeah, no, it was just a nightmare. No reason it's Blue Dragon, only Shu survives second disc. Ah, well. And Zola. Although Zola didn't uh, teleport away with us. Where is she? A dream? Playable. I have no MP. Ah, oh, Shadow's gone from the menu. Damn. Nothing. Oh, hey, I found some more nothing. Be sure to give that to the nothing man. Item. Item. You gotta loot the room you wake up in. Occasionally they forget to take, you know, the heavy weapons away from you. Metal. Nice. Nothing. nothing. Excellent. Uh... Honeymoon with the king. Nice. Getting that good royal D. I see you're awake. Uh, she's going to rock Gibral. <laughs> oh, geography joke. Oh, I'm glad you slept so well. You've been up for three days. That's incredibly unhealthy. Did you know you were asleep for that long? I do now, thank three you. Three days? I found you lying unconscious near the village. If I had a dollar for every time that happened. Oh, they're already awake, dear. Cool of them to look out for me. Plaza earlier. They were very worried about you because you didn't wake up. As a matter of Everyone else is dead. No, that would be absurd. The young girl. Maru was crying? Oh, no, poor Maru. You said this was a village. What's the name of this place? Yeah, where the fuck am I? This is Devour Village. Uh, I, look, I know I'm in a bit of a pickle. Well, I'm Shu. Why is it called that? Thanks for helping me. I think that just putting my stuff aside for half a second, explain to me why it's Devour Village. Are you like, are you sacrifices for a god? Are you cannibals? Are you just super into vor? What's the deal? I'm not kink shaming you, but I'd like to know so I can either politely excuse myself or flee, depending on the situation. I appreciate the revival, but, you know, still, that's... Item. By the way, I'm stealing your shit, so, you know, that's, don't hold that against me when you're cannibalizing me. Nothing. Taking your nothing as well. Hope you don't mind. A lot of nothing in this house. It's literally just a bad title. They probably could have worked on that then. Okay, I thought those were corpses for a hot second. I was like, that's dark as shit. Playable. It's just moss. Don't worry, everyone. It's just quarterback Randy Moss. No one cares if he's found hanging in a tree. That said, this place is still pretty gloomy. I'm not gonna lie. Not not exactly what I would call uh, the homestead, you know. If I were if I were a wandering traveler, I'd skip past here, you know. Find another town. Uh, sure you do, and you mean like stream it on your own or just in? Privacy. I've seen my friends anywhere around here. I wouldn't know. Okay, you've been a fountain of information. Unfortunately, the fountain is dry, but, you know, it's still a fountain. Alright, that's a noise that they have. Uh, there were two boys and a girl here just a while ago. Oh, well, that doesn't help. You didn't happen to see where they went. Could just barge into homes, sort of hoping for the best. Have you guys seen my chums? Friends have gathered at that vacant house. Every day they've been talking about some kind of plan. What is this plan? I don't know. I've been unconscious. I also assume this is the house. I'm stealing this. Whatever it is. It's mine now. Okay, seven medals. Hope no one needed that. Bye! Rip Salia. Poor girl. Uh, I cannot stream myself due to health reasons. Oh, that's a shame, dude. This isn't an abandoned house. I apologize. I'm looking for children. I 
So you probably thought that was a weird thing to say as I left. Uh, these children I'm looking for are my friends, and apparently they've shacked up in an abandoned house. Uh, it's perfectly innocent as that. Don't put me on any lists, please. Thank you. Unless the list is for totally cool people who just, you know, have sweet parties in abandoned homes with their f mutual friends of the same... Okay, I'm just... Forget, forget this happened. I'm going. Ahem. I'm going to play it after token stream. That's me. So where's the abandoned house, then? Is it you? Nope. This is the old lady's house. Is the abandoned house to my immediate left, sort of closer to the children? This one, per se. I would have thought it was the one, you know, just a ways off the road there, but, you know. No such luck. Nope, this is a private house. Alright. Take time, want to hear your opinion, but no rush, uh... But not rush you with giving it. Speaking of other people streaming, uh, one of my mods, Nathan, who you all know I think is Musket Meerkat. Why aren't they staying at the inn? Um, he's been streaming more uh, lately. He uh, did a test stream of Deep Rock Galactic, and uh, that's the shop. I don't know why I even bothered checking there. Where are the other four stooges? Well, Zola's AWOL, because they said two boys and a girl, so we have no idea where she is. Um, the other three are somewhere in this village, but I'm, you know, terrible with directions, so. That said, that abandoned house isn't the most helpful, if you can believe it. It's on for three hours, generally. Yeah, I usually go for about three hours. I sometimes go longer if, uh, A, I feel like it, or B, there's, you know, like an important point in the game. Or I'm, like, really close to beating it. I think I did a four-hour Resident Evil stream because I just wanted to, like, play more of that while I had it. That was when it was first out. First out and being enjoyed. No, I checked every house in this stupid block. Is it around the corner here? No? Where the hell? Okay, I should activate this. But where the hell is everybody? Not in the shops. I'll speak to this older gentleman. Maybe he knows. Opening stream was four hours. Uh, you can warp, can you warp from here? Uh, no, I can open the menu, but I can't actually warp anywhere. Not enough magic power to warp, so it claims. Looking girl is Salia. She lost her parents recently. It's so sad. She's been so depressed ever since. Then in this village, there's no one who's not miserable. Have you considered moving? Also, I'm sorry to hear about your parents, but, I mean, you are very boring. I imagine they died because of that, if it's any consolation. So, don't worry. It's not going to affect anyone else as long as you don't speak to anyone. Uh, I'm getting out of here today. Those annoying trees. Oh, we're trapped here. Great. Good to know. Another village I'm trapped in. Super. Forest attacks. Yup. So seriously, where the hell is everybody? Down this way? This seems like another path I can go down. Is there an abandoned house this way? I spoke to you already. This looks like an abandoned house. On the outskirts of town, right? Like, if you saw this, you wouldn't think bats could clip through it. You'd also think you could go in it. You'd be wrong. What the fuck? Jiro, you better get those revives ready, because I'm about to kill all of kill all of you. Better hope you're quick on that hey. draw. Shoo. Shoo. <laughs> all right, it is uncomfortable that you are crotch height. <laughs> are you guys okay? Well, what about you? Klook told me what happened. I'm okay. What about Zola? She isn't here. 
That's Zola for you. She probably made a clean escape. I bet she went back to King Gibral. She can take care of herself. I guess. Maybe. Shu, how did this happen? How did we get away from Nene? That wasn't a dream, was it? He was going to crush us, wasn't he? He was super going to kill us. It wasn't a dream. Jiro, do you remember when Nene called us vessels? Yes, I remember that all right. Those light spheres that we swallowed were... How is that a consolation? Uh, I'm guessing quiet I'm you. He was having us use magic. Will the orphan want to be a blitzball when she grows up? <laughs> Not a blitzball player. She just wants to be a blitzball. <laughs> I want burly men to throw me around underwater. <laughs> I would abandon that house. That's fair. Now every one of them have collars. Damn. You'd think in three days... I'm talking over the story. You'd think in three days they'd have, like, bashed that open with a rock. It's a fashion statement. But I used magic. What? what? It was so intense, I wasn't sure what was happening, but I knew it was magic. That's what allowed us to escape. Oh. Yeah. At the time, I thought we should all just run away. Can you believe I actually thought something like that? God, it's like your you one intelligence that? point That's has gave a, gone up to two. Yeah, I know. I gave up. Jiro... I think I finally understand. Jiro, now that I've given up, I understand you better. Isn't always a bad thing. I mean, not if we live to fight another day. It's just all part of the bigger plan, you know? Oh, look. Growth and development. I didn't expect that from you, Shu. I'll be damned. I realize that I won't give up is not always the answer. Bravo. Yeah, character development. You love to see it, but again, I didn't expect that from Shu of all people. <sighs> I don't suppose any of these items that restore MP would, uh, you know, like, uh... Yeah, I didn't think so. Worth a try, worth a try. Ahem. It'd been very funny if that's how that worked. So, uh, you're all looking at this. Can we, uh, nope? All right, cool. Uh, maybe the orphan knows something. Kluke, what do you know? Oh, sorry. The other orphan. Maru, Jiro, and Shu all shout parents and high five. It's good you found your friends, but now the only sadness of parting awaits us all. You're a downer. You know that? <laughs> Almost as depressing as what I'm about to see, I realize. Which, you know, I was going this way anyway. I don't know why I needed a cutscene of me turning around dramatically. Help me! Huh. I just yeeted him. Well, that's mildly annoying. Hey. The blitzball calls. Darn. Yeah, she's a blitzball. She's in a pit of depression. Leave her alone. Eh. Well. No way! How can a tree be stronger than an axe? Something's wrong here! Hey, tree. Sure would be a shame if you wrecked my tree destroying collar. I'm just gonna walk slowly over here and activate it. Keep you trapped? Shoot zero points of intelligence go up to one. Oh please, you can't have zero. You're dead at zero. The rule of D and D. A flesh eating tree? You guys couldn't have shown up in a worse place for a rescue. Is that Sam Regal? Tell me. Where did you come from, anyway? That's Sam Regal. Whoa. He's putting on a deeper voice, but that's Sam Regal. It's too bad. You've had a terrible twist of fate. The flesh-eating trees are this horrible. This is no D&D. Three mm. or four times a year, they grab one of us to eat. If we try to leave, the other trees block the way. That's depressing. If we try to chop them off, well, you saw what happened. 
Could it be? Is Nene doing this? Who else? Is Jiro okay? Wow, you picked the worst times to leave. Like, ah, oh, massive plot dump, better skedaddle. I'll come back now that there's like 40 minutes of explaining that needs to happen. Jiro's okay. He lost his healing abilities, though, so I don't know how much you uh, appreciate him at this point. Huh, so we have a flesh-eating tree and trees that block the way if we try and leave. Hey, kid. I bet you'd like to go and give the flesh-eating tree a hug, wouldn't you? You know, I've read this book called The Giving Tree, and I think that that's exactly what the tree needs. A hug. As long as the fresh eating tree is in the square, we just wait to die. God, you're depressing. Okay, Juro's worthless to me now. Zola. Zola's, uh, skedaddled. She got, she was smart and fucking dodged the, uh, stealing of all of our magic. Class system is gone. Yep. Uh, if you haven't already guessed, uh, Shu's intelligence has been assisted living for his entire life. That's fair. He's got heart, though. He certainly has heart. Be careful! Don't go near that thing! It's in the middle of town. How would I avoid it? It's a tree, right? We gotta get rid of it! No, you can't! Why? Shoo! Yeah, fuck this tree. Just beat it up. We have no magic, remember? We're unarmed. Oh, yeah. Maybe I can do it. <laughs> Why? You couldn't do it before! I didn't try? This is my first I time? I when I fought Nene. Maybe I can do it again. All right. That's terrifying. None of my buddies are helping me? Really? We're not doing it. That was like half my health. All right. Nope. <laughs> really? All right. Hey, Shu, you want to fucking run away or... No? Nope. All right, cool. Well done. <laughs> 1v1, easy. Cool of them to fucking throw the boss music on. Thought you learned when to give up. I tried. He was like, nah, it's not happening. Never give up on anything, do you? <laughs> it's been another three days. To be done. We can only wait for that tree to wither and die. Have you considered lighting it on fire? What else can we do? That tree has made us prisoners here. We just try to ignore it. It's probably a dumb question, but you know, I figure I cover my bases. Surely you must have tried fire, right? You've got plenty of it right here. Just like carry it out to the tree. Whoosh, kabam, problem solved. Or is that not how it works? You've got fire here, too, so really there's no excuse if you haven't, but I'm going to keep asking until I get an answer. Have you tried moving? Take the entire village and push it somewhere else. Yeah, in addition to a tree that eats them once a year or whatever, uh, the trees around the village, grab them and yeet them back to the village if they try. How's my favorite orphan doing? You need and also to you. Me. That girl you were with? She just collapsed. And they brought her inside. You Maru? Playable. They brought her to the inn, I assume. But yeah, let me talk to everyone's second favorite orphan. You don't understand anything. I understand that you're a bitch. So, they probably brought her to the inn, right? If I had to... If I had to take a wild guess. Game over, boys. That's not how it works. Uh, in the anime, Kluke and Marumaru are voiced by the same person. Yeah, also in the anime, Sam Regal, who voices, most notably in this game, King Gibral, voices um, Jiro, but not King Gibral. It's very weird. His only credit... Of course this game has an anime. Look at it. Oh, it's you. You probably heard, but she just collapsed and they brought her over here. She's in the back. You should go see her. Playable. I don't think the anime... I think the anime came after the game. If I had to guess. Or maybe, like, same she, time. Who knows? She... Oh, Clu. 
Luke. She has a high fever, and she's very restless. She's currently resting. What the fuck are you talking about? She's having bad dreams. It doesn't help that you're shouting right next to her, Mara. Luke. Stay away. Why? Why are you always so mean? Stop. Ah, uh, having dreams about me just... Desperately waiting for more PS5s to come on sale. She's dealing with scalpers right now. You know, Luke hasn't uh, the game, the anime, the shitty DS game, the manga, the second shitty DS game. There was, uh... There was, uh, an Xbox one, wasn't there? It's not working! Listen to me. Came out in 2010, There's I think. One thing Luke told me about the time Power of Love. Anime and manga went great together. Weren't great either. Oh, really? She yeah. said that because she had those rings. Just this game, huh? She was able to believe she'd be with us again. I guess that explains why I haven't really heard anything about Blue Dragon in ever. I remember a DS game for it, and that's it. I saw some ads for it, and that was the extent. Uh, how about taking the collars off? Would that help? I've suggested that. We've been here for like three days and no one's thought, let's get a rock or a firm branch and rip these stupid collars off. Also, what is this music? That orphan wrote this, didn't she? Some stupid fucking music. Alright, change the goddamn radio, man. Let's get some pep in this step, am I right? In the anime, there was a number member, a girl that could transform into a giant poo snake. Which orphan? Oh, the one outside, whose name I don't remember. Kluke is just Kluke. The orphan is the orphan. We don't, we don't like the orphan. Kluke's alright. Uh, can Jiro have that power? What, to change the radio? I hope so. He's got thumbs. Why Poo Snakes, of all things? It's iconic to the series. Uh, like, if you transform, why would you turn to a Poo Snake? Unless the collars are collars in the running, man. Uh, no, they don't blow up. They turn into spiders? Can I take it off, actually? Hold on, I haven't really tried. Nah, I can't take it off. Can't even replace it with some magic shoes and a bow tie. Curses. Um. Hey, guy, what's up? If we have nothing good to look forward to, then what harm will come from looking at the eight moons? Uh, they're actually lasers that could kill you. Not to bum you out more, but they're not really moons. Anyway, bye. Have fun with that knowledge. What's your deal? When the eight moons are aligned, something bad will happen, so no one goes near the cliffs. Okay. Good to know. This game has the golden slime from Dragon Quest, uh, but of course it's a giant poo. Figures, yeah. The orphan is the Blitzball. Yeah, her, the Blitzball. Ah, Blitzball. Shout out to everyone's favorite racist Waka. I sure do love Blitzball, yeah. Unless you're a dirty Albed, in which case you should die horribly, yeah. Hate the Albed. So what do you have to do now to progress the plot? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Go to the cliffs, it sounds like. Check out these moons. Kill tree. Game is just boy simulator now. <laughs> uh, yo, whatever... Oh, jeez. These are some big moons. Yeah, I figured since they didn't shut up about the moons and the cliff, that was where I needed to go to reflect on my life. You know, as boys do in simulations. One of those is real big. Oh, hey, it's the orphan. Do it. Your parents are waiting for you. Don't do it! Shu, you're a goddamn killjoy. I take it back, Shu. Good job. Oh, you. So close. So close. 
She's trying to become a blitz ball. You have to be in the water for that. Do it. What are you crazy? Not you sponsored by yourself? Nike. <laughs> uh, good joke. I like that. You expect me to just Figures I reckon there are a number of steps that need to be taken before that. All I want to know is what those steps are. So what? Probably this. I have nothing left to live for. I'd be better off dead. Is this the girl who can transform in the anime? You give up on living? Enough already. Don't give up. Don't give up. That's what they all say. I don't care how many times I hear it. They're nothing but words. You're just like everyone else. Not true. I have a collar. I don't understand. Why are you doing this? Well, parents are dead. I think that's pretty much it. My parents are gone. Okay, I forgot about the tree for a hot second. They died trying to save me. The situation is pretty shitty. Living as an orphan. Sure don't. You know your whole life that your parents died for you. I can't go on living like this. Yeah, but still. <laughs> Solid argument. Please. You just got here, didn't you? You will never understand. I mean, give it enough time, he probably will. Live with that monster. There's nothing good here anymore. We just wait to be eaten. I'd rather be dead. Has anyone considered, like, building a ladder and a boat down to the water and just fucking off? Hey, no way. Like a glider or something? It just occurred to me that, like, you have an escape. It's just, you know, a bit difficult. But it's very doable. Is it easy to throw away the life your parents died for? Do you think this would make them happy? Who cares? <laughs> Build a boat Shut out up. of wood. Yeah, you got homes. You the only Tear those down. You're not coming back here. Who has to laugh when she'd rather cry? You're not the only one suffering. <sighs> oh, whoa. Didn't mean to preach. I mean, he actually had a valid point there. I mean. I do. It's just... oh, no joke for that. He had a legit just point. No point anymore. I thought I had to save you, but okay, whatever. <laughs> Alright, now he's kind of back to being an idiot. I don't idiot. care if you want to throw it all away. I could never give up like that. But hey, that's just me, I guess. I'll never give up. I'm not going to sit around here waiting to be Placement eaten by Zola. some tree. I won't. Oh, hey, that's convenient time for the sun to rise. It's like 90% up. This is a fast sun. God, how long do days last? I did. Hey gosh, everyone, it's been 10 minutes. Put your nightcaps on. It's a decent effect, actually. It was a pretty background. Shoe? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? You're just T-posing. Jiro, I'm going to get my magic back again. Yeah, but if you couldn't do it before... Back then, I didn't try hard enough. I don't think I truly believed in myself. But... Now I think I can do it. You know, a lot of wood for that, and I'm not sure it was half seven enough. I'm not saying, you know, a boat to cross the ocean. Just go down the shoreline a bit. This girl. It only needs to float for like an hour, probably. What? Yeah, right down there. There's probably no tree down those cliffs, right? It's easy to say, don't give up. But unless you turn those words into strength. Yeah, T pose on suicidal girls. It works every time. But now, after all we've been through, I know what it takes to say. I won't give up. Ah, uh, quick time event to little engine that could myself. He's blue, it all makes sense. I would pay so much money if there was a way to mod this game. That like the blue dragons or the shadows were just the little engine that could. Especially shoes. Like, that makes the most sense for his character, I think. Ah, this one's tough. Ah, oh, Jesus. Not... Whew. Not as young as I used to be, game. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm here again. Fuck that collar. Alright! I don't see how this makes up. <laughs> what you doing there, buddy? You alright? Or... 
Oh. This isn't some magic Nene gave me. It's my own strength. I'll make it my own power. Fight myself? Just bring it on. Damn, I gotta fight myself. Summoned Shoes Shadow. Nice, thanks for the five gamer score. What does that put me at, 12? This game is pretty stingy with the achievements in terms of points, I must say. Anyway, uh, yeah, fuck this guy up. 1v1, easy. Just like Persona. Do you fight yourself in Persona? Tension meter time. Is it? I have a guaranteed counter and I can just charge my attack. I feel like this is pretty one-sided, actually. Ah. There's an emulator out there for this game. I can probably figure it out. Uh, hard to emulate 360 games. That's uh, not really a thing. Light of your heart casts a shadow. That's a very Kingdom Hearts thing of you to say. Uh, you fight other people's shadows. Yeah, but I'm fighting my own shadow now. I guess in 4 you fight your own shadow, don't you? Sort of. Kinda. Corporeal? Oh. I think we should flee. I think it's time to give up and run away. Uh. Damn. Can't. 360 emulators exist now. Yeah, but they're not very good. They're like... It's very hit or miss. And even then, only some games for them work. Alright, let's see what Corporeal's all about. Enough, enough of the jokes. Is it like my ultimate... Ooh, damn! Not bad. My shadow's got a dick now. I like it. I approve. Seems excessive, though. I think I could have handled this fight. A wee bit much, me thinks. We end this transformation like Orphan and the Jiro are dead. The Jiro. 1452. Nice. You love to see it. Correct, but makes it possible to mod all cutscenes freeze immediately. Yeah, well. That sounds about right. <clears throat> Again, why use Simulator when you can go to the Windows Store and buy this game for modding? You can't do that on PC, can you? You can only buy it on... Uh, Xbox One and Series X. Maybe 360. But I don't know why you would do that in this day and age. Shoo! Your magic. It really came back? Yeah, bitch, I told you. Let's go. You think I can do that too? No. You have to be a winner to do that, Jiro. She can't either. What? Uh, don't believe you can. Yeah, I didn't think you could. Just make mods for the Xbox version of it. That's, uh... That's a tricky and complicated process. It's back! My magic is back! Pretty much you need to jailbreak a console, at which point you can probably get banned for going online, which you don't need to for this, obviously, but... That's still a whole process that's not really worth it for a stupid joke of making the dragon, you know, the little engine that could. Just to be clear, I have no intentions of doing it. Yeah, no, hypothetically speaking, obviously. Making it clear that it's not an impossible feat. I, I don't doubt that it's impossible, but, you know. I don't think anyone's done it, and I don't think it's worth anyone's time to do, per se. You can't mod on Windows games, Windows Store games. No, you can definitely do that, but I don't think you can download this onto PC. It's on the Windows Store, but I think by buying it, you still need to install it on either an Xbox One or a three, uh, 360 or Series X. Or Series S, whichever you have. It doesn't really matter. But, um... Quality joke. But no, I don't think you can get it on PC. Yeah, how do you do that with no white magic skill? Solid question. Uh, 
Can you get this for PC? I don't know if you can. There are some games that you buy on the Windows Store that you can't install on your PC. It's a bit of a, like, a bit of a fuck you switcheroo like that, but it does exist. You buy the game and it's like, cool, you can now install it on your Xbox. And it's like, can I? Thanks. I'll remember that. Plot armor. It's the strongest armor. The only thing that plot armor is weak to is cutscene guns and cutscene bullets. Alright, I think I'm gonna save the game, wipe the floor with this tree, and be done. It's Sunday, I don't have work to go to. Hell, it's a national holiday tomorrow, so I don't have work tomorrow either. So I can spare some time to kill a tree. I do appreciate that this game is doing what uh, Kirby Squeak Squad failed to do and letting me fight a tree boss, though. I appreciate that. It's good looking out, Blue Dragon. It's dip out time for me, so good luck with the tree. It's good thing it's not Arbor Day. It's true. It's Memorial Day. No store version is not for the PC. I don't know. I don't think it is. I think if you buy it, it lets you... It says you've bought it and you can install it on your Xbox, but I don't think you can play it on your PC. That is horrifying, though. I think I have antidotes, so that's actually not too much of an issue. What's his name? Wait a minute. Okay. His name is Eat Yeet. The tree's name is Eat Yeet. I mean, it's accurate. He eats and he eats, but like, really? 2006? You're up to date on your hot meme culture? What the fuck? This, t this game's timeless. Yo, it's Eat Yeet, boys. Jiro, you useless fuck. What are you doing here? Eat, eat the tree. Yep, moral support, I guess. I mean, that's what they're all here for, right? Besides, he has, uh... Oh, does he still have... He probably doesn't have double item, does he? That said, I should heal myself. Yeah, he does not have double item, if you can believe it. Ow! My hand! <laughs> Did one damage to you. Get over it. Cool Xbox 360 reference there. Well, this fight's never going to be won. Don't suppose I have a, uh, certainly don't. <sighs> Alrighty then. Super cool of you to paralyze him so he can just never attack now. Just going to lose this fight. Did they not think of that in this? They were like, ah, yeah, paralyzing's fine. It's not like they don't have any items to cure him or anything. Just mashing the A button until this is done. Oh good, they're defeated. I'll speed this up. Can't wait for uh, Shu to have a turn. Since I imagine this fight is, you know, somewhat scripted, so, naturally, I'm meant to attack and defeat him with Shu's big tension power, right? It does a ton of damage. It's good stuff. You love to see it. Any day now, Shu's gonna leap into the fray, because the game is scripted around this fight of one person having magic, right? It's balanced in that mechanic. I think I can stop mashing A. Eh? There's nothing I can do at this point. 
That's smart thinking on the tree's part. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. Tree had the strats. I think the tree exclusively targets Shu with paralysis. Really? That's a fucking awful mechanic. We're just gonna restart from the last checkpoint. And, uh... Head to the item store real quick. Buy some paralysis cures. Cool of the devs to put that in the game, though. Alright, so which one's the item store? There we go. Ah, uh, said smart thinking. Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. Uh, real big fuck you to the player, though. Alright, so... We need things that Dizzy, Kellen, Petrified, Sleep, Panic, and Stun, Zombie, and Ghost. HP, 200 HP, and add Stink. Interesting. Okay, but where's the Paralysis Cures? Phoenix Talon. I have none of those? Alright, buy a few. Antidote, Deodorant. There we go. Is there one that cures Silence? Sure isn't. You love to see it. Uh, okay, well. Alright, Mr. Tree. I'm back and I've got some cream for my achy joints. You feel threatened yet? Alright, eat, yeet, let's do this. Also, don't call him Tree, call him Eat Yeet. The man's got an awesome name, respect it. He is Eat Yeet the Powerful. Go ahead and have yourself an antidote. And you can go ahead and heal Kuk. And you can go ahead and open his hands up. Oh, my hands! Ridiculous. He really just does target Shu with that. An asshole maneuver. Ow. Why would you do such a thing? I can't believe you've done this. Yeah. He'll be like, no! My hands will protect my face. No! My hands! My face will protect them! No! My face! Ah, oh, Kluke's dead. Experience, damn it. If for anyone else, I'd be like, well, nothing of value is lost. Shu's the one who needs to live. Kluke, it's like, ah, you need her alive. It was extra cool of the tree to save Shu. Heal myself. Uh, it was extra cool, extra cool of the tree to save Shu for last so that no one could revive him and get rid of the paralysis. Really, I think that was the best part. Now heal that boy. Ooh, I meant to knock his hands away with an attack before I did that. Oh no, she's dead. Fuck, I need her for experience. I wait to beat this tree boss first try. Right. <sighs> Phoenix Talon, there we go. In fact, heal Shu first. He's the only one who can do damage. Well, I want Clues to get experience for this fight, please. And I tried to heal him first, but, you know, my finger slipped and I healed Jiro instead. Corporeal. Hey, eat yeet. Eat this. Alright, we don't have time for this. So, can we... We get it, he's a blue-eyes white dragon. I'm just Kaiba in training. There we go. 
Eat ye, defeat. What the fuck? What? I don't got time for the summon. I'm not gonna hang around for every goddamn summon. See, Cluck needed the experience. Why don't you do that against a turbulent Mai? Excellent question. Alright, time to reload the game. Gotta do that against turbulent Mai. Anyway, are you still depressing? I won't forget you or what you did back there. No, but you're boring, so... Equally terrible. Well, that's gonna be it for me, speaking of terrible and boring things. Uh... Bit rough there at the beginning where I had to grind, but uh, hey, we made it to disc three. I need to be sure to add, um, what was it that Dark Flame said? What was his game request? Something Saga. I remember that. That's the, uh, the unfortunate bit is that that's all I remember. I'll have to look back into what's been claimed and make sure I add that. But yes, I'll be sure to add that to the list of games. Saga Frontier Remastered. Thank you, I will. Add that right away. Uh, it will be put on the spinner. And hey, if you're lucky, it'll pop up soon. If I'm lucky, it won't pop up for a while because it sounds like a massive JRPG and two of those in a row would be, you know, probably pretty exhausting. See you next time. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow for, uh, did I add Vampire? Well, I mean, it's on the list. It's not on a spinner or anything. But yeah, Vampire's, uh, I believe, been added. Anyway, I will see you all tomorrow. Uh, be good people, stay beautiful, etc., etc. Bye-bye.